Right, Siran Soki is the only Sikh Formula One protege. So you know how tough it is to get into Formula One, uh, especially with promotions, you have to be so amazingly quick and committed. Just where I started out in go-karts on a family holiday, and it was when my family noticed the whole different character develop, and they saw how much fun that I had. And then my parents first realized that, okay, he's going to be a, an expensive child, as he's not going to go into any other type of sport. Um, then a year later, we bought our first go-kart, and I excelled quite quickly for my first test day. Next, next day, I saw the car in the garage, and been racing ever since. First year of karting, I came runner-up in my first uh, championship. Following year, I won the championship by 348 points, which is quite a margin. Uh, then the following year, moved to juniors, and I actually got scouted by McLaren in that particular year, and graduated with the top three and being the only seek actually there as well. They actually wanted me back for another year, so I would have been probably far up in my career further than I am now, but just due to financial reasons, just couldn't do it. So just progressed through karting for all the years, had many type of ups, up, ups and downs, where probably the worst incident was I was leading the championship on the last round, it came down to one point, and just because a driver didn't like that I was faster than him, I got taken out, so I lost the win as well as the championship, but secured third, which was good enough, but we move. And Disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Totally extreme, yeah? Yeah, I mean, me as a person, I was a calm guy, so normally when, you know, drivers have a crash or whatever, they chuck their helmet, chuck the steering wheel, etc. But everyone was just shocked that I just didn't do any of that, I just pulled the car to the side and just took it in as it was. Well, I suppose you have to sort of keep your feelings to a little bit to a minimum. You yeah, can't go running around I didn't say anything, but obviously because we knew we were actually going to win the championship, and I actually was winning by, by a margin on the race itself, but didn't happen, unfortunately. Good so, thing. moving on from that small yeah. issue, yeah. Um, so <laughs> you were testing in Formula 3? Yeah, so I'm currently, and I have been testing in UKF3 for the past four years, as it's been myself and my dad that have been putting the funds together, so I've had part-time jobs through uni, college, and etc. just to get into a race seat. And every time I've gone out of the car, I've excelled. And only only now, only this year, I've actually got attention from the US that I potentially could be sponsoring me in, well, the, in the later year. And okay. When I told my story to him, it actually brought a tear to his eye. <laughs> so you're how old now? I'm 22. You're 22? Yeah. Okay, so this is right in the period when you need to be getting in, I guess, with the super teams like McLaren and Ferrari and that sort of Yeah, so like... There are drivers out there who are younger than me, but fortunately for them, you know, they can afford to chuck millions. Yeah, I was going to say, because yeah. investing in, in uh, a Formula One career, working up, I, well, I know uh, Gus Burton and a couple of the other drivers, I know what money is involved to get them into Carrera Super Cup and things like that, but Formula One must be a whole new trackers for you. Yeah, I mean, just to put it in blunt words, that a season of UK F3 is almost half a million. That's just the starting round. Wow. And then it goes to a million minimum for the international rounds, then it just goes higher and higher.